What's going on? A powerful force is affecting the ship from outside hyperspace. What does that mean? Something is trying to come into contact with the ship. If this persists, we will be dragged out of hyperspace. What's this? I sense... Huh? What? Specific, we are located at the approximate center of a giant gnosis. This gnosis is nearly 16,000 kilometers in diameter. To date, the only gnosis of this size on record is the one named Cathedral Ship. Does that mean we were eaten? That may not be far from the truth. I don't sense any activity from the gnosis outside. It's almost as if they're sleeping. Hey, what about the Elsa? Where's the captain and everyone else? Hopefully they too are alive, and in here somewhere. Uh, what is it, Cosmos? My sensors have picked up a signal. A signal? Is it the Elsa? Yes, and something else near it. Although it is faint, I am picking up a waveform similar to the Zohar that was taken from the Woglinde. The Zohar? You mean that gold-colored object that was in the hangar? That thing's here? How far is the Elsa from here? Approximately 10 kilometers from our current position. Not too far. Stay here or find the Elsa. I'm worried about Alan and the others. Hmm. Looks like we have no choice. This can't be real. Am I dreaming? Or... It's not possible. Ariadne vanished when the Zohar went out of control.
alert in Section D. Distorted wave patterns detected in the quarantine hangar. Sector D? Is it the Zohar? Raising a trapped inhibitor output in all Sector D compartments. UMN traffic detected across EPR radar. Something's beaming resonant waves through hyperspace. Where is it? Searching for signal source. It must be resonating with whatever's out there. Prepare to gate jump! Mary, alert the Foundation! We're gonna follow it. Roger.
has no choice but to fight. choice but to fight. So this is a cathedral ship. It does feel like we're inside a ship, but it certainly doesn't look like anything that belongs to the Federation. Could it be an alien ship? I wonder. Look, over there. What is it? A sign or something? Hey, it's written in English. But this is odd. It doesn't look like it's stuck on the wall. Doesn't it look more like a part of the wall itself? Are you saying this sign is part of the Gnosis? How could that be? Take a look around. That's not the only one. There's a lot of other stuff here too. Are we... really inside a Gnosis? Hurry! He'll be gone soon! What, did you find something? Huh? Uh, no. Uh, no, it, it's, it's nothing. That girl again. What does she have to do with this place? At this time, the defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the defendant must pay for his crimes. But with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, Surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society? Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, 
to undergo level 7 personality reconditioning. With this ruling, the current you will cease to exist. But it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it. What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course, that's what makes you, you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What, did you think there was love between us? Please. Don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. <clears throat> Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. with Federation law, the defendant will now undergo level 8 personality reconditioning. With this, defendant 12584's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian. I must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility, and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... You look like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? A life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However...
<laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir, you're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone.
watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Battle systems are go. 